Have you ever told someone a story and then a family member's like, hey, that didn't happen to you, that happened to me? It can feel super strange when we recall a memory, only to find out that somehow, the memory has been skewed or fabricated entirely. This happens to all of us to a certain degree. We tell the same story over and over, sprinkling a bit of pizzazz onto it each time we tell it, until eventually, we forget what's true and what we exaggerated for effect. This experience is a common one for those with false memory OCD. In this video, we're going to outline exactly what false memory OCD is and how to treat it. Stick around until the end to learn everything you need to know about this disorder. If you're new here, my name is Emily from Impulse, online OCD treatment. There's a huge variety of OCD symptoms that people experience, with false memory OCD being one of them. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for weekly tips on OCD management and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And with that, let's hop into the world of false memory OCD. False memory OCD causes an individual to have obsessive thoughts around a memory or event which in reality didn't actually happen. Psychotherapist John Hirschfield explains, the event can be something that actually happened but over which there is some confusion, or it can be something completely fabricated by the mind. Experiencing these sorts of false memories can be super distressing for the individual. Typically, they'll spend a lot of time thinking about the memory, carrying out compulsions to try to cope with the memory, or to alleviate anxiety or guilt around having it. A great deal of time and focus will go into proving if the memory is real or false. Over time, the memory becomes more vivid as the individual feeds the memory by dwelling on it and giving it more attention. There is no single type of false memory that plagues OCD sufferers. They can literally be about anything. It's common, however, for false memories to be related to the individual's obsessions. For example, if someone has an obsession around contamination, they may experience a false memory of touching something contaminated or having experienced an illness earlier in life that justifies their obsessions today. I can't stress enough how real these false memories feel. This is why false memory OCD is so confusing for the individual experiencing it. A lot of shame can come with this disorder, with sufferers questioning their own memories and beliefs. Individuals may feel judged by those around them who don't understand their disorder. These false memories can make the individual feel like the worst person in the world, especially if they are obsessing over a false memory where they have caused someone harm. The uncertainty around what is real and what is fake can make us start to question everything. This cycle of false memory and guilt can easily spiral out of control, worsening other OCD symptoms. Let's talk about how our brains function for a second. The process of storing memories is a complicated one that doesn't always go to plan. While we sleep, events are moved from the brain's temporary memory to permanent storage. This transition, however, isn't absolute. Elements of the memory may be lost, allowing false memories to begin. False memories can come from a few different places. Suggestion. Suggestion is super powerful. If someone asks you a specific question about an event or suggests a detail of the event was different to what you remember, your brain may change the memory accordingly. Misinformation. If someone convincingly shares incorrect information about an event, our memory might actually change. Inaccurate perception. If you perceive an event incorrectly, for example, if you can only hear and not see something, our brain will try to fill in the gaps of the memory. Misattribution. We've all experienced mixing up multiple memories. If we only remember small parts of certain memories, our brain may put them together into one memory, mixing up events in our minds. Emotions. Research has shown that negative emotions lead to more false memories than positive or neutral emotions. So, if we all experience false memories and intrusive thoughts, what makes it so bad for OCD sufferers? The memories themselves are not the issue, it's the significance those with OCD attach to these thoughts and false memories which cause the problems. As we can imagine, intrusive thoughts and false memory invite a lot of doubt into the minds of OCD sufferers. An individual with OCD may doubt that they performed a task correctly or that they remember something correctly. This constant self-doubt is a vicious cycle. Regularly questioning the validity of our memories leave room for false memories to develop more easily. When it comes to treatment for false memory OCD, it's essentially the same process as any other OCD. False memory, although a specific symptom, stems from the same place as intrusive thoughts. 
As we spoke about earlier, it's the significance we give these false memories that is the problem that needs treating. If you think you're experiencing false memory OCD, start tracking your symptoms. Take note of any thoughts or behaviors you feel are unhealthy or fall into the compulsion obsession category. The next step would be seeking treatment. This step can take a moment for us to arrive at. When you feel ready to seek help, speak with your doctor or healthcare provider to discuss your options. You can also go private, looking for face-to-face -face therapy, or you can look into online OCD therapy treatment like our Impulse Therapy course. Remember to be kind to yourself and give yourself some grace and patience. Overcoming OCD is no easy task, and the fact that you're here learning more about this disorder is already an awesome step. Recovery will take time. It's normal to fall off track. Getting back on track and allowing yourself the time it takes to recover is all that matters. So that was our deep dive into the world of false memory OCD. Have you ever experienced this symptom before? Are there other types of OCD you want to learn more about? Let us know in the comments down below. And be sure to hit the like button if you'd like more content like this. Until next time, stay safe.